and welcome to yet another edition of the Full Force News Burst, brought to you by GeneralsJoesReborn.com, with me as your host, Chris Baranasty McLeod, aka Diagnostic 80. Joining me today to talk about the news that Ursula Corbero has been cast as the Baroness in the upcoming G.I. Joe Snake Eyes movie is Justin, just don't make Rex her brother and Duke her ex fiance, Belle. So without further ado, let's get stuck into this news burst. Earlier today, the rap, and more specifically Beatrice Verhoeven and Humberto Gonzalez, broke the news that Ursula Corbero will be playing the Baroness in the upcoming G.I. Joe Snake Eyes movie. The 30-year-old Spanish actress, most famous for her recent breakout role in the Netflix television series Money Heist, will don the black suit and glasses, that's just a guess, I have no idea what this version of the Baroness will look like, just in time for filming in October. With all that said, Justin, I mean, wow. It feels like we've been waiting a long time for this news, but it's finally here. How do you feel about the, the casting of Ursula? I, you know, I'm. it's cool. You know, it, it, I don't honestly know much about her. You know, I haven't really watched anything that she's been in. She certainly does look the part. She apparently is, you know, a Spanish actress has been working uh, on that side of the pond for a while. But, uh, you know, honestly, I don't know a whole lot about her, but, you know, I'm, I'm open to, to seeing what she can do and... And looking forward to that. Well, let's kind of go down the list of Baroness-like traits about, like, just from from what we can see at this stage. Now, one you mentioned, she's a Spanish actress, uh, which would obviously give her that kind of exotic accent for sure. you know what what we know the Baroness you know originally in the G one kind of cartoon in the G one cartoon in the Sunbow right. cartoon is the G one cartoon, I suppose, but. Um, <laughs> You know, I'm just really excited. I don't know what to say. But yeah, I mean, so she, she'll obviously have that, you know, that kind of, I want to say foreign kind of sounding, but that's what she'll yeah. sound like. I mean, I'm foreign to you and you're foreign to me, so that doesn't make any <laughs> sense whatsoever. But you know what I mean? She'll have that that quality about her in that she's not from the US, she's not from the UK, et cetera, et cetera. So it's, this yeah. isn't a Baroness of Sienna Miller where she's American kind of thing. Right. This is going to be like a very traditional style baroness by the spat by the sounds of things certainly seems like it yeah and i don't think you know obviously her i don't think her nationality was ever really shared there was a time when you know her, her name was supposedly like eastern europe anastasia kind of, yeah, de cobre yeah. which was kind of that eastern europe sort of thing yeah not necessarily spanish but you know like you like you said kind of that exotic aristocratic kind of yeah uh, look and feel and who's to say i mean she there's no there's nothing to say here that she can't put a different accent on exactly. know, that, that's the yeah. other aspect i mean it probably won't be the case but I I think it's I think that's this is a quite a cool way to go in terms of that in terms of that aspect. Now she in terms of a look, I mean she certainly looks the part, doesn't she? She's got that kind of I mean there's a picture on uh, the wrap that's like the side by side of the Baroness from the comic and Ursula Cabet Corbero and it, again like her hair isn't longer but uh, you know it will be I'm sure for the film and it, again it doesn't really matter at the same time but there's definitely that she definitely has that look about that kind of sharp kind of features doesn't she sharp but smooth yep. at the same time I don't even know how that's possible but yeah yeah for sure yeah so I mean there's so obviously she looks the part she's you know hopefully going to sound the part in terms of acting wise the only thing I've heard that uh, of, of anything that she's done is this money heist she, she was yep. the breakout star in that I haven't actually seen that yet but I tell you what I'm going to be watching it probably after this recording yeah, just to find Netflix. out what she's like um, yeah 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 and I'm watching I'm kind of watching the trailer for it right now you know with the, with the volume off oh, so I, I can't see. Really tell Justin's got better things to do than a news press <laughs> <laughs> it's called research you know I mean <laughs> So yeah, and so yeah, I can't really give you much perspective on her actual acting chops without uh, being able to hear her speak. Um, yeah. There is some action in the film for sure, although she's not necessarily involved in a whole lot of it that I've seen so far. You know, curiously, I think pretty much everything she's done so far has been Spanish language. Yeah. So I mean, obviously she'll. <laughs> we we take all these actors for granted, like oh, you know, big deal. You know, she'll just learn how to speak English. I mean, that's not <laughs> exactly easy. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but perhaps I mean maybe she already is bilingual. I don't know or, or multilingual. All you have to do in that situation is say right. If I was given an opportunity for a role in a film and you've got to speak Spanish, how like just imagine the daunting. Yep. Imagine that as as an individual to be like, all right, I've got to learn an entire language. Have I? Okay, brilliant. Yeah, you're hired now. Learn how to speak English. <laughs> Even if you just had to learn month. the lines. And right. you didn't even know what you were saying. I mean, that would be hard exactly. enough, wouldn't it? Jeez. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm excited. I think she looks really cool. I think 
She's definitely yeah. got that Baroness look, very much younger looking, but I suppose that's what they're going for, aren't they? They're going for younger actors for this origin so that I suppose yeah. they can, yeah, as they go that's along. That's one thing that, yeah. that was pretty clear. I think she aligns kind of not quite as young as, you know, Baroness appeared in the in the Real American Hero comic when yeah. she was, you know, kind of intermixed with Snake Eye's backstory. I think she was like 14 or 15 in the, in the Marvel Universe yeah. when she was woven into Snake Eye's history. Yeah, but, yeah. She certainly is going to be on the younger side. I mean, I think that much is clear. So uh, I think that's what they're kind of going for here is overall sort of a younger theme and young, you know, hopefully drawing in a younger audience. Are you happy they've gone with, uh, uh, not, this is not me being rude. I mean, it is kind of me being rude, but she isn't very well known at the moment. She isn't like a huge, huge yep. star. She is obviously a huger star than I am. Um, <laughs> there's no doubt about that. But... I mean, are you happy they've gone for more of a fresh face here than than someone that's that's? I mean, we spoke about all sorts of different characters, uh, uh, act, sure. actors, didn't we? We we talked about Blake Light. Well, I yeah, mentioned Blake Lively. Um, yep. There was a couple of other names that popped up, but they're all like people that were. They were all women that were already kind of established in the industry, sure. uh, long careers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Are you happy they've gone with a fresh look this time? Outlook this time? Um, I don't know if I'm happy, but I'm totally fine with it. I mean, it's you know, it doesn't doesn't make me happy or sad. I just think you know, obviously <laughs> she auditioned and she got the role, and I don't I don't think some you know a character like the Baroness is necessarily a character that requires a big name star. Yeah. So I, I don't think that's a big deal. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I'm I'm fine with the choice to go with kind of a, a fresh new look or a new person or something. I mean, everybody's got to get their start somewhere. So yeah, and they do have some established foot. I mean, Henry Henry Golding. I don't know if he's like real real established. He's fairly established. He's had a couple couple fairly big roles already. So he's more you know, so he's, the hot ticket at the moment, isn't he? He's correct, more like yeah. yeah 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 yeah. So I mean, it's you know why, why not? I don't have a problem with it. Yeah, this is I'm getting really excited. The actual casting so far have, have all been very positive. Like I haven't sure. I haven't looked at anyone and thought like, you know, oh no, I'd rather have someone else here or there. Yeah, or exactly. Uh, it, it's looking very solid at the moment. I just, I'm, yeah, I get the feeling this is going to be the next few weeks is going to we're going to be finding a lot more casting news is going to be flying yeah, in now. Great. And this, this to me, this seemed to take ages to get through didn't it i mean we were talking with you know on, on twitter out in the open it wasn't like you know behind closed doors or anything but with silver optimus and yep. he was explaining you know that the baroness has been chosen they, they've chosen the actress etc etc and we were kind of thinking okay great and then i even like set everything up in preparation of this particular news breaking and we're still like you know, I still, I'm still like, run, like typing crap all over the place, not quite, you know, getting it sorted in time, and all, all over the place. And this has taken so long to come out, and I've just, I was not paying attention, and then all of a sudden, a, a random tweet on Twitter just popped through, saying, yep. "Check this out," and I was like, "Wow!" So yeah, okay, well, there's the news, guys. Uh, <laughs> Ursula Corbero is going to be the Baroness. Justin, any anything to add while we're here? No, I don't think so. I think I'm just excited too. I really like seeing the pieces come together. It'll be really interesting to see if any other, you know, Judge or Cobra characters are cast yeah, in the film, or time. you know, if this is kind of it. But yeah, I, I'm really, I'm getting more and more excited to kind of see how things come together. In my mind, the the lead up to the film was almost as much fun as the film itself. I mean, yeah. just with the trailers and with the news and all that stuff so uh i'm very excited to get this together okay anyway yes brilliant so ursula corbero is the baroness she'll be the baroness in the snake eyes movie and justin and i are very excited because we've been waiting ages for this news to drop <laughs> and it drops and <laughs> justin's really sick and i'm literally drowning in work right now it is ridiculous so this, <laughs> this came at the possibly the worst time in both of our lives but whatever justin thanks for jumping on mate really appreciate it absolutely no problem that's it for this installment of the full force news burst thank you to my awesome co-host justin bell see you next time and as always full corbero that doesn't make any sense full force Make sure you get involved with the discussion by liking, sharing and commenting on these videos and as always you can keep up with the show after listening by following on Twitter at The Full Force, liking the Facebook page facebook.com forward slash The Full Force and if you would like to contact the show you can message us on either of those platforms with feedback or questions. We have also started a Patreon page so if you want to see your name up in lights on these videos or enjoy exclusive bonus content then check out patreon.com forward slash the full force podcast or click the link on any of the posts this podcast appears in full force